Bas Sosa here, WBCU champion, welterweight, Jaleel Major Hacker. What's up? How you doing, boss? How you doing? All right, all right, man. And of course, you had the thing there where you won the WBCU title in December. Handle business, stopped them. Great performance. Now it's on to what's next. So what's going to be next? Right now, you know, we're looking at, you know, starting off the summer, right? Maybe June. Almost really locked into June for real, for real. You know, get that, get that out of the way, and then you know, after that, now we explore our options. Really, you know. Yeah, yeah. feel you, feel you, man. I mean, you got you know your thing there. You ranked there in the welterweight rankings, WBC. But I, I've been hearing some stuff, man. You've been out there with uh, Coach Calvin Ford, and he said, man, you can hit one forty if you want to. Hey, price right, bag right, situation right. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, for uh, sure, for sure, for sure, man. Right. So uh, now you've been putting in work here, of course, in the gym and all that. Uh, you just recently had, uh, you know, a military team come in here, get some work in, man. How, how was that? Uh, it was great work. Um, you know, a lot of them guys, you know, had boxing experience in the past. So it wasn't like, you know, a lot of the traditional military teams we used to seeing in America. So, um, yeah, it was great, great, you know, good work. Kind of allowed me to amateurs a little bit, you know, with that style of fighting. Yeah, man, they had the whole thing with the two minute rounds, and then, like you said, with the style of fighting. So it's not like in the pros where you you could land like significant punches, but here it's like back to amateur scoring. You gotta be the most active and score as many points as you can between rounds. Yeah, five, five. Yeah, man. So like, yeah, how was it that like had that team from the UK basically coming down here for for the work? No, it was good, you know, with them out of all the places they could go for the work, they come in. So you know, that's that's great, you know. Make me feel real good about myself. They hit me up, asked me kind of my jump. So, yeah, man. You know, like you know. he says, man, you got that. You got that name hitting internationally, man. So if they coming down here to you know get work with you, man. You know what you know what that means, man. It's like, hey, you you definitely up there, man. Yeah. And for sure, for sure. So like, uh, like you said, like you got plans, pretty much like plans that you're you know trying to execute there. Like like you said, you got the WBCU title at uh, Welts weight. You're pretty much like entering in the WBC rankings, but we kind of like see some of these uh, guys that, that are around, you know, around your rankings that are, you know, getting some good shots, man. Like, why ain't they saying, hey, call your little mate Jack? A little scared. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, because I know that they got something coming up, man. Uh, what is it, May 4th? Um, what is that, Barrios and uh, that Maydonna, Fabian Maydonna, and I don't think like Maydonna is that much further down from you know where you at currently in the rankings. Yeah, no, he's not. Um, you know, right even right now, like if Fabian was unable to fight and they had to postpone that fight due to him not being able to fight, and they called me, I'll take that fight right now. Confident I could beat Barrios right now. Like right here, right now, man, you be out there and get that WBC interim championship because. Yeah, like you said, man, it's like, what is it? Like, outside of, you know, like, a few guys, you're like, hey, put me in there with anybody out there at 147. Facts. Yeah, even at 140, it's talking about uh, you at 140 as well, man, because, what is it, who is it? Um, what, Coach Squeeze out there up in the gym saying, like, hey, get him in there with, like, you know, Regis or Devin yeah. Haney or any of them. Those guys, you know, they talking about coming up to 47 so so. Why go down to them? Yeah, when they can come, come up, up to you, me. it's like, hey, I'm right here waiting for you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'll be waiting. You know, everything go how I think it's going to go in the next, you know, 12 to 18 months. I have, you know, either the WBC intern or the WBC actual, like, regular champion. And, you know, those guys can come up. I'm sure they want to be multi-division champions. Come fight me for my belt. You know, I'm, I'm open to all fights. Over to all fights and all fighters. It don't matter if they coming up from 140, they still there at 147. You ready for them? No, nah, fine. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. So, uh, like I said, you were able to get in work here with, uh, you know, that military team uh, out there from the UK, man. And you know you've seen, like, other people that you've been getting in work with. Uh, like, how is it to kind of, like, sharpen your skills there by doing that while preparing for fights? Um, it's real good. You know, it's always, you know, good to stay sharp all uh, I tell people, like, all work, you can always learn something from somebody while you're working with them. So any work I get, I always try to take something away from the sparring. Yeah, it's like, you know, either something where you could, like, you know, work on your footwork or defense or, you know, just trying to see what openings are out there. You just yeah. say, hey, 
okay, I could do this next time or I could do that the next time. Yeah, always adding something new, always adding a different wrinkle to my game. You know, you can never be good enough. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. But, like, hey, what's it like being, like, one of the, you know, best uh, young fighters uh, coming up, man? Because I know, you know, a lot of people are talking about a lot of fighters there, and you're, you're among there in that list, you know what I'm saying? So what is it to, like, kind of, like, have your name being mentioned amongst those young fighters? It's cool. It's cool. You know, at some point, I wanted to make that transition to where, like, all right, they not just mention them with the young guys. Like, they mention them, like, in general. Like when they bring up the welterweight division, they mention me in general, not just the young guys. So, like, you no, know, it's still more to work on. So. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, you you've been there with just about anybody. You you hung out with the you know guys that have been around there among the top in the division. You've been you know out there with like Errol Spence or like Boot Tennis and everything like that. So, hey, you should be mentioned among those guys as well. Yeah, but in due time, you know, they they everybody has like their their time period. You know, I'm just waiting on my time to come. When it come, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold that bitch down for a long ass time. A long time, like you, yeah. you don't feel like letting that shit go. Hell no. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. But that's what I got for you, there, man. Hey, that that's the man right there, Jalil Major Hackett, undefeated WBC Youth Welterweight Champion. Y'all be on the lookout for him. He got something coming real soon. For sure, for sure. For sure.